If you fly electric model airplanes or drive an electric RC car, you've likely seen a variety of battery checkers. In this RC Gadget Talk, we'll talk about a couple of different styles and brands and let you know why using them is important. LiPo batteries for model airplanes and cars were one of the technologies that led to the explosion in popularity of electric models. High power output and reasonable cost make LiPos king of the hill when it comes to powering RC models. LiPos aren't without their downside, however. As I discuss more fully in my book, RC Ground School, available at Amazon.com, you've got to give LiPo some respect and operate them within their limits or risk explosive venting and fire. As folks have gotten more familiar with LiPo batteries used in RC activities, the damaging incidents have gone down, but it's still not uncommon for a modeler to burn up his or her car or workshop. Using battery checkers and balancers are a good way to help prevent one of those unfortunate events from happening to you. Let's take a look at a couple of types and brands of battery tools you'll want to consider. It's likely that you'll end up with a couple of different tools for your toolbox. First, let's take a look at battery balancers and balance functions of multi-purpose checkers. One of my first battery tools was a balancer called the Blinky. It's a single function device. It's used to balance multi-cell LiPo packs. You plug the battery balance tap into the Blinky and it moves electrons between the cells to bring each cell into line with the others in the pack. In multi-purpose battery tools like the EOS Battery Sentry, the balance mode does the same thing. You can use the blinky or balance mode when your battery charger doesn't include a built-in balance function. Fortunately, nearly all new battery chargers have the balance function built in. You can also use the balance function after a flight or race to balance the cells before charging. Multi-purpose tools allow you to read cell voltage, allowing you to see when the cells have discharged unevenly. More on that in a minute. Balancing your cell after flight prepares them for an even charge and, depending on how long you discharge the battery, you can get them down to a safe storage voltage if you don't plan to use them right away. Battery status checkers or status checker modes allow you to see the battery's current total voltage and that of each individual cell. Tools like the EOS Sentry and Hobby King Battery Medic provide a quick view of each of the cell's voltage and the total voltage. Several of the multifunction devices will give you a handy percent of discharge figure for a quick reading. The percent of discharge is based on the 3.0 volt minimum LiPo cell voltage, not zero volts. Other circuit board type checkers have small LED displays that will rotate through the cell voltages one at a time. It's a good idea to get into the habit of checking the overall and individual cell voltage both before and after you fly or race. An early indicator of a failing battery is when one cell consistently discharges more than the others. Cells that discharge below three volts can be damaged. This might not be obvious without using a voltage checker that reports the voltage of each cell individually. Some battery tools have a discharge mode. These checkers allow you to set the voltage you'd like each cell discharge to and let the tool do its thing. Usually these pocket-sized tools use a small resistor to discharge the battery. I found that they're good for getting rid of the last couple of hundredths of a volt 
but they're not too effective at discharging full packs. First of all, they take a long time, and second, they get hot. In one case, the multi-purpose tool I was using got hot enough to cause the LCD screen to turn completely black. Fortunately, it all came back when it cooled down. A similar function is the storage function on some of these small devices. In this case, the device will discharge the battery to the recommended 3.7 volts per cell recommended for long-term LiPo storage. Alarm devices are usually small circuit board gadgets that allow you to see the cell voltages and set an alarm where a built-in siren will sound. This allows you to get an audible signal for when it's time to land. Most of the time, you'll want to do this for the first flight or two and then just remember the time associated with the alarm as the noise is a distraction during landing and for others in the area. Many modelers like to land or complete their runs well above the low voltage cutoff selectable with these devices. In those cases, you'll know you've significantly overshot your limit when the siren goes off. Some multifunction devices allow you to do a couple of other checks. One that I find particularly helpful is determining the internal resistance. Simply stated, internal resistance is the amount of resistance the battery adds to the circuit. This is wasted power. Internal resistance measures the current flow when the battery is under a load. Most new batteries have internal resistance milliohm values in the low single digits per cell. When the internal resistance starts to climb into the teens, you know the battery is starting to fail. Power that used to go toward flying or racing now stays in the battery. Over the years, I've collected four or five of these devices. If you're an electric modeler, you'll want to have at least one multifunction device in your toolbox. Your LiPo batteries can give you hundreds of flights or runs with your RC car. Using these tools effectively will help you get the most from your battery investment. If you found this information helpful, please click the thumbs up button for the video and be sure to subscribe to be notified when I post new videos.